hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here a very big welcome to you and if you're not new thank you so much for tuning in again today my name is nello i am a nigerian based youtuber so guys today's video you guys already know is about the colourpop foundation we just launched last month uh, by the way i cut my hair yes i did i i cut my hair anyways guys we're going to be reviewing the new colourpop foundation and yeah if I, I i'm not really using a ring light it's kind of on but not really it's really really low because when i try on this foundation i want you guys to actually see the true color of the foundation if you get what i mean because i know that when it comes to when it came to trying to find my shade and the foundation i found it very difficult because the shade color pop said was going to be my exact shade the 170 it has a red undertone and i have a yellow undertone like my my skin it's it's yellow basically so it was hard for me to decide what uh, color to buy so i decided to go with 65 guys so let us hope that 65 works for me today this foundation has been so hyped and i am so excited to try it out i literally cannot wait to put it on my face the foundation came in this package right here Ta -da! <laughs> i ordered a foundation two of the um powders these are the setting powders i ordered it in banana and um, translucent and also i ordered this i love sarah he color pop lipstick in ariba and when you order this foundation you get a free brush and <laughs> anyways and i'm going to be comparing this foundation to my revlon today this is the foundation i've been reaching out to the most recently it's almost out you guys just pretend like you can see how empty the bottle looks but you guys can see the shade very well so i'm going to be doing like a side by side with this revlon just so you guys understand like this revlon has the yellow undertone this is the shade caramel so you guys the description of 165 according to what the shade reference it posted on instagram says neutral foundation with golden olive undertone for dark skin and obviously i just like the fact that there was a golden undertone there i'm going to be doing a wear test throughout the day anyways i just watched this video to see how it works looking at these two foundations side by side i can clearly clearly tell that the color pop shade it's not it's not going to match you guys look look at it you see how yellow um the revlon is even though it's empty you can still see how yellow it is whereas the color pop is a little bit too neutral i think i think it's going to be a little bit too too neutral for my skin tone but i'm just going to do a shade swatch here i'm going to go ahead and put the revlon on first and the color pop and yeah this color pop is very very liquidy like i actually love foundations that are very very liquidy i don't like big foundations but unless they really blend well but anyways this is the color pop right here so i don't know if you guys can see this is definitely definitely lighter than this on the camera it's, it's looking a little bit yellow like like it has yellow undertone obviously they said it has a golden undertone so i don't expect it to be too off but it's definitely lighter than my actual shade so this is the revlon and this is the color pop and you guys i didn't color correct i didn't conceal in any way because i need to see the coverage of this foundation because they claim it's full coverage but we're going to see Yeah, definitely this foundation is light. Oh my god. Uh, this foundation is definitely, definitely light. And I really do not think that this undertone is golden. It's anything but golden. You guys, golden is supposed to be like a deep high yellow. So golden undertone should actually work for my skin tone. This foundation is more neutral. Ah! No. Just no, 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 no. Okay. You guys can already see at this point that this foundation is definitely not my shade. But I feel like this is more on the neutral side. It's actually a little bit ashy, like 
you you guys can see what i'm saying i don't know if you guys if you guys can see what i'm saying but it's just a little bit ashy and the 170 would have obviously been dark because i watched some reviews on youtube and it, it already looks dark and reddish so is the 175 so i probably don't have an exact shade match in this foundation i probably will need to mix one or two to get my exact shade i'm going to go ahead i've already put on concealer and i tried to use a concealer that is a little bit darker than what i would use on the normal day just to revive this whole face and to conceal under my eye i'm going to be using the banana um instead of the translucent because you don't need anything to make this foundation look worse than it already is so i'm going to be using the banana this is what it looks like oh hold on yep see the difference so this is the color pop obviously and this is sasha you can clearly see that the color pop is definitely lighter than the sasha butter cup but the review some people said it was good some people said not so good so i'm going to use the banana and see so guys while letting this set i'm going to go ahead and just do a very very quick eyeshadow and for the eyeshadow obviously i'm going to be using colourpop eyeshadow my current favorite palette is from colourpop the all i see is magic palette i believe so i'm going to use that and just quickly do an eye look and i'll be right back i have gone ahead to just do a quicker shadow and i contoured my face and i went a little ham with the contour because my face is looking hella light and i need to tone it down so i probably did a lot but that's fine <laughs> for today's video so now i'm just going to go ahead and brush off the excess powder let us see how this setting powder works and one thing i should say about the setting powder is it is really finely milled like it's not like the sasha it feels way lighter and just way softer one thing i should say is that it feels really good it feels very soft it feels um i'm not to wearing earring guys it's weird it feels very light for setting under my um contour for reverse contour basically i'm going to use the powder in translucent this is what the translucent looks like so i'm going to be using that to do a reverse contour just so i equally try the translucent out and see how it works ah something is off i'm just going to go ahead with a powder that is my shade and try to just mend this mess once i put the powder the difference like i can see the difference it's like i'm using putting the powder all over now with this powder it looks a lot better like a whole lot even though i can still see that you know my face looks lighter but not so much anymore it's like wearable right now so guys this is the finished look with the color pop um no filter foundation <sighs> thoughts first of all they claim that this foundation is full coverage and i must say that it's almost full coverage it has a pretty good coverage like i didn't use any um color corrector or i didn't conceal in any way before applying this foundation and it did pretty good with my spots it covered it almost completely guys so kudos to them for that the coverage is amazing but then the shades the shades i mean i feel like they were so focused on making 42 shades because everyone wants to be like fancy or better than fancy right now that they actually missed the point it's not about the number of shades you have but it's just is about the it's about how accurate you get the undertone and the skin tones of the people you're trying to make those shades for so they went on with numbers and didn't really focus on like complexion which i feel like you know it's bad on their part so it's like you have this 42 shades then what if you have 42 shades and a lot of people are not finding their shades then do you really have 42 shades no because at the end of the day they're they're going to have to buy uh, two or more to actually find their match which is what they do with other foundations that have like 15 shades or 
So, so you have 42, but you're, at the end of the day, you're not actually better than those with 15. That's my thoughts. But the foundation applies well. I like liquidy foundation. It's very liquidy. It applies so well. It goes amazing with your concealer. Obviously, if it doesn't go there, there's a problem. But it goes amazing with your concealer. Setting powders feel very good, very lightweight. It feels so light on the face. I think now that it has actually set it on my face, I like it more than when I just applied it. It feels really good. But then again, the shades of the setting powder and eh, like it's not my favorite. I don't think this is the part I'm going to be reaching towards. All in all, I think I'm pretty disappointed with this Colourpop No Filter Foundation. I know a lot of people love this foundation. They are happy with it. But me personally, this is my opinion. This doesn't mean that this foundation is bad or will be bad for you. It's just my personal opinion. The foundation is beautiful. It applies amazing. But the shades, are, they are just too off for my liking. And instead of me to i don't like a situation where i have to mix and purchase more than one foundation from a brand you know like what's the point so that being said i'm going to do a wear test of this foundation i'm going to be wearing it all day right now it is hold on it's 11 57 p.m a.m <laughs> sorry a.m <laughs> it's 11 57 in the morning that's almost 12 o'clock p.m so i'm going to wear this foundation for the rest of the day i'm going out i have places to go i have things to do and i still have school runs like later on in the day so i'm going to wear this foundation for the rest of the day as right now i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see like what the foundation actually looks like so guys i'll see you guys then oh my god oh my god like i'm just looking at my face for the first time not really but I've, i don't think i noticed how much oil i had on so I finished my makeup by 12 and right now it's 6.30. So it's been six hours, 30 minutes of wear. You guys, if you're hearing any noise, Kobe's playing in the background somewhere. Anyways, it's been six hours, 30 minutes of wear and this is what we are looking like. I mean, you guys can see all this oil and even if you look, you can still see that this foundation does not go with my uh, chest. You know, it's lighter, but it's wearable because i made it wearable but um the oil i feel like i actually put this foundation to real test today because i cooked with this i fried meat and you know as you're frying meat the steam and everything and i went out i i had a semi busy day you know and it's i mean let me zoom in I mean, looking at it closely, I don't think it is too horrible, like, um, complexion-wise, like, how it lasted, like, whether it's still on or whether it's moving about and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's bad. I think it's, it stayed put all day, actually. But shades apart, this foundation, it wears well. This oil, like I said, I fried, I had a busy day, and I've not blotted all day. So, I'm sure simple blotting will even make a lot of difference, like, just using the back of my hand to pat my nose. I can already see the difference, you guys can see. So I'm sure if I block my face, I can still wear this foundation for a very, very long time. But that being said, yeah, this is how we look after six hours, 30 minutes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope this review helps one or two of you in finding your shade and deciding whether or not to buy this foundation. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. Click the button right now, and I'll see you guys in my next video.